Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Hulk. In this video, we are going to cover how to communicate from child to parent component using events. So, first of all, we will be covering uh, like what exactly an event is, what is custom event which we are going to use for communication from child to parent component. Then we will be understanding what what exactly it do, like uh, how we are a, we will be able to send data or any kind of information from child component to the parent component using custom event then we'll be seeing a practical example practical implementation about it and finally at the end i'll be giving you one task which will give you more and uh, like a more practical exposure to it and you'll gain more information about this custom event so let's begin here first of all what exactly a custom event is uh, imagine that you are like uh, you have created two components one first is displaying the whole uh, like portion of different different uh, products and from the products you have one button which is add to cart button and in the parent component the whole board which which is listing different different products is showing number of products which are in the cart right so when the user clicks on add to cart button then what exactly happening that particular product should be should go into the cart itself that and the cart count should be displayed on the page at the top right corners somewhere like that so in order to do that what we need to do those child components should be able to send information to the parent component that is something which we are required to do so in for doing that particular thing we have to use something called as custom event so yeah so now uh, like uh, this custom event term you might have heard event term in web uh, like a uh, in a like web development kind of thing website designing or html css in javascript where what we do we use events like on click on uh, like uh, on hover on mouse over something like that so basically if we want to create our own events these are standard ones on click on uh, hover on mouse over these are different standard predefined events but in case if we want to create our own event like this a particular thing happens a user clicks on a add to cart button then the information then this should happen right like i am clicking on a button the button will get clicked and then that event on click will get triggered and based on that we'll be doing something right that is called as event handling so here by like uh, by saying custom event i mean i am going to create my own event and also i am going to handle it as well so that is what a custom event is now so you can see over the screen there is a div in which i like uh, i have put it on click event which is a standard one and then the method is handling the event handle form submit method is uh, going to handle uh, like uh, whenever the user is going to click on this div then it's going to handle uh, this this method will get triggered basically and this method will perform some task according to the code which we'll be writing now instead of this if we'll be using custom event then how it will look like it's going to look like like this on instead of on uh, instead of on click we'll be writing on and then the event name it could be anything like on send on next on uh, like a uh, uh, pop up something like this right any 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 name it could be right so any custom event name whichever the name we have decided at the time of creation it uh, cre uh, at the time we we are creating the custom event okay so i hope you got the generalized idea of this particular uh, like uh, how the custom event work now i'll be telling you how uh, like we are going to trigger the custom event in the lwc part in the practical implementation we'll be understanding that in a more better way so let's move ahead with the practical implementation here we have parent child component 
आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पेरेंट एंड चाइल्ड कंपोनेंट विच वी हैव कवर्ड इन द एल डब्ल्यू सी सीरीज सो इफ यू हैवेंट लाइक इफ यू आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट हाउ वॉट इज पेरेंट चाइल्ड कॉम्पोनेंट हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट बिटवीन दैम लाइक हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट फ्रॉम पेरेंट टू चाइल्ड हाउ टू एक्सेस द प्रॉपर्टीज एंड ऑल दीज आर ऑल थिंग्स आर कवर्ड इन द एल डब्ल्यू सी सीरीज सो यू कैन वॉच दैट नाउ दिस कोड इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रीवियस वीडियो इट सेल्फ सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज अ पेरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट इट्स लाइक ऑल द थिंग्स आर देयर now few additional lines i have added in the parent component in the child and in the child component just to explain you about custom event right just to explain you about what exactly a custom event is okay so let's let's see here uh, first of all we'll be understanding the code of the uh, okay let's first understand the functionality itself let's see how it's working i'll refresh the page right and then then we'll be understanding the behind the scenes code what exactly the code written there in order to make this functionality works so here you can see there is a card which is displaying e enter message for parent component at the top right corner uh, like at the mid right corner you can see there is a input box there is a then there is a send button i'll be typing something over there here in this input box and click on the send button then this here instead of no message received the message will appear like i am writing hello here hello will appear in this card latest message from child component card will display that message i'll click on this you can see hello is displaying i am writing something else hello mess this is the message from child component so i am going to click on send button and it's like displaying here right so now what i am going to do is i'm simply going to explain you the code how it's working so basically this particular part this particular part this lightning card part uh, is belongs to the child component it, it is present in the child component and this particular part latest message from child component this is the message this particular card belongs to the uh, like a parent component portion right let's see that these whole things first of all i'll show you the parent components parent component uh, like a uh, in this parent component you can see there is a lightning card i have added with title latest message from child component and this is the line inside which the message is getting displayed right child message i had used lightning card from the lightning component library you can check out there how to use card and all all the examples are there in that library i have used a class as well as lds class lightning design system from lightning design system i had taken that you can see so you can search for padding if you want to give anything you want to give any kind of styles you want to give uh so that i have already used here we have already covered covered about these all things i think in the series if you not we'll be covering it soon uh slds p and left small this is going to give left padding basically and that's the message property child message property so here we had done property binding in the html part this property i have defined in the js child message property i have defined here and initial i have initialized it with a string no message received now there is a method as well store message event is there then there is a console console.log event.detail then there is something called as this dot child message this is this is the line where we are assigning the value from the event how this method is get called how uh, like uh, the like uh, this event dot detail what exactly this is we'll be understanding so let's let's keep it for later words first let's understand now the child component in the child component we have added a card which consists of two things first is the input tag which in which we have we are writing the message and second is the button on which we are clicking 
to send the message to the parent component now let's understand that button portion so on this button click we are calling a method which is send to parent this is the simple thing we are doing so let's understand set to send to parent method what we have defined inside it send to parent here we have first of all consoled okay then we have return here this dot template dot query selector basically we are querying the input elements value right input elements and then we are accessing its value whatever the user will be typing in that input box will be will, will get queried and will will be fetched and then it will get assigned to this constant variable which is input value simple now after that we are doing something like this what is this this patch event so from here like just by looking at the syntax you can understand that this is we are calling a method which is dispatch event and now where it is defined as we are trying to access it using this keyword that means this dispatch event method is present in this base class lightning element class uh, like uh, our child this particular child component class is extending to this lightning element class so all there are many many things which are predefined inside this lightning element class and one of them is this particular method which is dispatch event method so that's why we are using this keyword to access this dispatch event method and uh, what exactly it do it basically throws the event whatever the events is going to get created here you can see inside this i am creating an event i can create it uh, outside it as well so that it will be more clear like this and then after creating the event we are dispatching it how we are creating the event we are using new keyword then custom event keyword remember this is a this is from the javascript language right this is a javascript file so make sure the case is as same as possible right it sh it should not be c small e capital something else capital it should be exact right after that in this we pass two two parameters send which is the name of the event first parameter includes the name of the event right second parameter provides additional information about the event like what exactly we are passing uh, creating the event with what exactly the message we are going to send so that those all things are uh, and some more things are there i'll explain it later but this is the second parameter which provides more information to the event right now this dispatch event is going to dispatch which means throw throw where to the higher hierarchy which higher hierarchy to the dom dom hierarchy like it's going to throw from let's say there is a div tag inside the, there there is a p tag inside the p tag there is a span tag let's say from the span tag we are throwing something dispatching something any event so it will throw from span then it will move to the div then it will move to the Uh, like first of all from this span tag it's going to go to the para tag then to the div tag this this is how it's going to like uh, go through the dom right to the parent tags and all right this is how it works so now so here from the child component from within the child component like let's let's see, let's see from where uh from this button from this lightning input button it's like uh, when we are clicking on this button the method is getting called so from this button the event is getting thrown by using javascript or whatever we are using that doesn't matter but we are throwing from button tag so it will go to the higher hierarchy it will go to the card it will go to the template and then it will go to the if then it will go to the parent component right so it will come here c dash child component this is the tag it will come right and then as you can see over here at this point we have handled it how we have handled it on send this is something which we had written here 
what does it mean let's see again in the parent component you can see the name of the event what i let's see in the child component basically you can see the name of the component uh, event custom event name we had given as sent so on sent means the parent component this child component tag this this particular thing is basically handling the send event and when it is like uh, it is handling using this store e store message function and this is store message function what exactly it is doing it's going to re receive some additional information which i had talked about right event it will receive event it will re uh, it will uh, receive information about the tag from where the event is handled and what exactly it it is handling all those information will be there and additional information will be there what exactly the additional information we are going to have this detail is there and how we are getting the details see again here this is the detail we are passing in the form of object object and inside that there is a property detail and it's it's assigned to the input value which user is going to enter right so that is happening over here and you can see it's getting assigned to the child message and finally the message the message from the child component is getting displayed in the parent component so now the time is for task i hope you understood the whole concept let me now tell you about the whole task what you need to do is you need to simply put a dev tag across the child component right like this is the child component tag in the parent component file here across this you have to put a div something like this i'm showing it to you so that you will get the proper understanding and you will be able to do the task so here there is a div right you simply have to put here the div up across it and then you have to copy this and paste it over here in the div tag right instead of handling here you have to cut it and paste it over there right so when you do that and after that you need to check like it's working or not it's working send now the way store message is getting called right now is it going to call a, like the same way again as well or not like because i have told you what happens is it goes from the child uh, tags to the parent tags to the parent hierarchy dom it goes through the dom so up to what level it will go that i i want you to verify and if it is not working then try using bubbles equals true or composed equals true try experiment with them right so that you will get more idea about these two properties as well bubbles and composed i am not covering them because salesforce also doesn't recommend us to use bubbles or composed kind of thing uh but yeah like you should have the knowledge of these things as well from the point of view of, of interviews and all and now uh, like where you will be making bubble equals true or like a uh, compose equals true you simply have to go to the javascript of the child component after the detail you have to put bubble equals true or uh, you have to put composed equals true something like this you you can make from here it's true and deploy the component and try it again check it again how it's working or not try to understand the meaning of bubble and compose property as well i hope you understood the concept if you did then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to salesforce health channel for more such videos